Does anyone else have that one friend that will not stop talking about their relationship? to be back okay so like i said earlier we all have that friend who will not stop talking about their relationship well that friend was me yeah like and i wasn't even in like a full relationship so i know that probably aggravated people even more but like i think that actually me falling in love was karma let me tell you why dating back to when my parents were together <laughs> They, they used to like have PDA and they would kiss and stuff and I would be grossed out like ew like do not ew like oh you know everyone wants to see their parents kissing and touching and stuff ugh. so that was one right but as I've grown older even when I see like when, you, when I was little when I would see adults like kissing in public I'd be like get a room like mad vocal just like blacking on them even my mom told me like you know if you want like love to really come into your life like a healthy love then you should embrace other people's love because what you put out towards other people's love is going to come back towards you. So if you put out negativity, you're going to receive negativity. Or, yeah, or something like that. And then I do, I do agree because when I was, I was back maybe, was it last year, last summer? I think I was talking to a guy and I was really happy for a short period of time. You know, a reason a season in a lifetime. It's over. That was just a season, obviously. Summertime. Anyways, um, oh, it's going to be awkward if he watches this. But one of the reasons we stopped talking was because he dead did not support my YouTube. Like he did not watch my videos. So, but anyways, um, I was like, I would see couples, and like because I was in a happy state of mind, when I would see them, I would be like happy for them. Like, oh, they're so cute. Look at them in love. Like that's really sweet. And sometimes my ice heart may get a little warm when I see a couple or whatever. Especially like older couples, they make me so happy. But I don't know. So yeah, like I became that friend. You know, when you're in love, you just want to talk about that person twenty. Or seven like you might see something and be like oh I remember when and then your phone will be like I don't care but um but now that I'm like trying to get over the situation and trying to like grow past it it's kind of hard for me at times even when I was kind of going through it with with that person I found it a little bit hard for me to be like genuinely happy when my friends were happy and that sounds so bad but it's my truth like it was hard for me and so I, I feel like I'm overcoming that but sometimes it becomes a point where it's like okay enough is enough like the other day I was texting my friend and I think he's actually a little upset with me but I, I've been trying to live more authentically and speak my truth because I read this book and it said like if you hold stuff in you will really get diseases and I do not want any diseases so I'm trying to like speak out my thoughts because why hold them in they're valid and they you know I like them I like my thoughts so anyway so I, I asked him like so like tell me about your life like what's been going on we were catching up or whatever but like tell me everything that's been going on besides like stuff with your girlfriend and I think he got really offended and like but that's really how I feel like sometimes there's more to a conversation than just boyfriend 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 girlfriend girlfriend like tell me about you and I understand that when you're in love sometimes like you almost confuse the two like you lose a part of yourself and gain that person it is so weird but i get it so when you said tell me about yourself you kind of want to mention that other person because they're a part of you that's how that's really how it feels and i realized that one of the reasons that god or the universe whatever you believe in had i believe in both but had me fall in love was because um god wanted me to like be able to not really relate but to have some compassion and empathy for the other people in my life who were in love, who were not getting the same type of um, or who were not who were not getting any like what's the word? You get what I'm trying to say. I don't even feel like finishing the sentence. But anyways, so yeah, it's annoying though. Like constantly talking about your person. I feel like the like in when I when I do finally get into a relationship, I'm really going to try to be sensitive to other people. Even like I told my friend one time, I told them like. It, right now I'm going through something at the time I was going through something so it's like kind of hard for me to hear about your relationship right now 
And I don't want to give you like biased advice or a biased opinion. I've told my friends that twice because I feel like living authentically, you don't want to give your friend crappy advice just because you feel like crap. Like, girl, dump him. Or boy, she she's a tramp. I don't know. Like, you don't want to do that. So I thought that was a mature thing to do. But sometimes if it doesn't penetrate through a person's head, they're not going to get it. And then it's going to be a problem. So, yeah. Still something I'm working on. But now I do see that one of the reasons that I was in love was for me to have some type of empathy and to realize the craziness that goes on in your mind when you're in love like you don't see anybody else you just see that person so that's all you want to talk about and I get it but it's still annoying because I don't care love you Felicia stay tuned for my next video alright I low-key care but not all the time alright I'm done love me like you do love me like you do